we are going to create a new beer for dynamics instance and show all the steps for setting up a new instance we are running beer for dynamics application and these are existing instances so let's just create a new instance before we want to create a new instance we have to add the license so if this is already a second or third instance then i can import the license like this if it's a first instance then i have to get bf dynamics license from partner or from bf dynamics directly let's put the instance name And now we are setting up the destination and in our case this is going to be SQL Server on premises. We are just going to use the FNO instance, the name. We are adding integration services for parallelism and we are going to have the analytics also locally. Analytics we could have also uh, in um, Power BI or in Azure Analysis Services. Let's just test connectivity and this is all it needs to be done to create data warehouse and semantic uh, layer in the form of a tabular database. Now we are adding the data source. Uh, this is going to be Dynamics 365 on premises. So that's the first choice that we have. It's a local instance of D365. The instance is in my local area network and it's easy to get the database it's a sql and that's fine for getting the data now through a connector we want to get metadata and uh, financial dimensions so this is going to be brought through financial services and we have to enter all of this all of these credentials uh, in here you can see and where do you get this? From your admin or from BF for Dynamics as it was a part of the installation. So here it's also a username and password. Let's test the connection. Okay, it means that we can connect to D365 and this is going to provide us with information that we get through a different format than millions of rows. Good. Let's add data source to instance. Here it is. Our data source has been added. And now we continue with the installation. Now, if we already new financial dimensions, we can add financial dimensions. Um, what would we add here? Let's say if we know financial dimension, let's say put FD cost center and let's say add another financial dimension department if we don't know these financial dimensions we can add this also later what's more important for us is to select the companies they come in partitions and down here we're going to select a few of them selecting this it's not enough we have to go into the format to set up the additional currency what would this mean uh, if we have local transactions in US dollar, but I would, we would like to consolidate all the businesses in another currency, let's say Euro, then we just select the corporate or additional currency and we add financial dimensions that we added. You can see these are the two and they are now read through web services. So this is a cost center, this is a drill down to the service and this is a department we put a friendly name with the fd so that these dimensions are differentiated we save it and says save okay connection failed we need to bring all data here so let's just finish the setting up for uh, all of this data okay we know this and also for the third company they must all have the same financial dimension and the same additional currency so let's add this to here or actually I can go to the one that I already created I said copy to all so now the companies are set up and 
just unnecessary I was adding this but you can see I can copy from one place to another at the moment we have to do the framework so you would expect that models that you would add would be in Dynamics 365 uh, it's just the framework and uh, I'm just going now to deploy this here so let's just select the framework and hit deploy um, I'm not going to process anything yet just creating the objects the schema that I need so let's just let's just um, let's just look what we have created so you can see this is a data warehouse it doesn't have a lot of uh, tables here uh, just a few and analytical database that is actually empty this is a uh, data warehouse and semantic layer um, in order to prepare our instance for development we have to do um, one more thing and this is uh, getting a metadata now hitting a metadata from application to d 5 would mean that we connect to a service and get the all information about the dynamics now if we this can take from 20 to 40 minutes if we have already metadata created in another instance then it's better for us just to go to that instance and copy the metadata so we are going to our production database setup folder metadata folder select the two files there is nothing more one big one small and copy this into our currently created instance here this is our currently created instance d365 demo this is d365 demo folder here this is it and reading then metadata we have to get metadata into memory so that our application is aware of the metadata we don't want to read it from disk because it has about 500,000 rows it's better that's in memory and we'll be able to launch our development Okay, we have loaded the metadata from a folder system into memory and this is also written into the database. So how do we verify this? There is a table, there are three tables with the metadata. So let's just uh, refresh the list of the tables and look for a schema metadata and look for a metadata tables. So we see this is the list of 1000 rows, but just for us to see how is the total count of the rows in a table so it's 500,000 rows this is something that makes us sure that this is uh, good and as a uh, last part in this exercise we just want to see that we can start using the wizard that is the tool that will use these tables and create the BI model here this is going to be an end of this uh, exercise and also the beginning for the next one. Here it is.